Hi, this is Miss Tucker and this is the first video on a series of videos about biochemistry that you'll be watching over the course of your career in biology. Uh, this one is titled, as you can see, All You Ever Wanted to Know About Biochem. Part 1 are the basics. And this is going to be mostly a review of the uh, information that you already know from 8th and 7th and 6th grade about uh, the periodic table and how to read it and the parts of an atom. So it should be pretty easy for you. Uh, what you want to do is watch this video and watch it as many times as you need because uh, you can just pause and rewind and repeat anything that you might have missed. Uh, take notes if you'd like, although it's not required. Uh, and then at the end of the video, you want to go to the website uh, that I emailed you in class or from class and take the QUIA quiz at uh, the end of the video. That way it can record the grade that you have in the grade book. You can take that quiz as many times as you like. Just know that if you uh, watch this video on Tuesday night for homework, that quiz, the last grade, has to be taken by Wednesday at the end of the day. So end of the school day, meaning 4.30 p.m. Uh, you can take the quiz again. You can take it as many times as you like. Watch the video as many times as you like. But your highest grade will be recorded in, uh, in my grade book so that I can uh, give you some credit for actually having watched the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is... Uh, an atom. This is a very simple and straightforward model of an atom. It's two-dimensional so you can see these things on the outside of the atom and there's some stuff on the very center of the atom and then we get a little more complicated by showing um, a closer to a 3D uh, structure of an atom. This of course is pretty cool. Uh, also a little bit more accurate as to what atoms actually look like as far as we understand. Um, same basic structure and if you go back through uh, the video, rewind a little bit, you can see that they all have the same kind of things. Something in the centermost part of the atom and then some stuff on the very, very outside part of the atom. And you of course already know what most of this stuff is. Um, this. Our model and how we'll talk about it in class will be represented uh, with these little symbols. And of course, on the outside of the atom, these little uh, symbols are called electrons. And you'll probably remember from eighth grade that electrons orbit the nucleus of an atom and they have a negative electric charge. So uh, the way that we write at, uh, electrons or short for, form for electrons in biology is a lowercase e with a little minus sign up there and that means electrons so you don't have to write it out every time. Um, those are found on the out, outermost part of an atom and on the very center of the atom we have the nucleus and the nucleus is kind of the uh, main part of the atom. For biology, we're really more interested in the electrons, uh, but the nucleus is important, and that is the center of every atom. The nucleus contains two particles, as you can see. Uh, it contains the little blue uh, circles, which have a positive charge, and those are called protons. In bio, we represent that with a P with a little plus sign uh, to show the particle that we're talking about and uh, the charge that it has. And then the red ones are called neutrons. And we represent neutrons like that with a zero with a little line through it so you know it's a zero. Um, and that is because neutrons have no charge, right? So electrons are out, found on the outside of the nucleus and those have a negative charge. Protons and neutrons are found on the inside of the nucleus. That's actually what makes up a nucleus. And they have a positive charge and a neutral charge, respectively. Like I said before, we're most interested in electrons because electrons will, for the most part, um, dictate the behavior of the things that we're wanting to look at. Okay, moving right along. This is a periodic table. I'm sure that you have seen it before. Uh, the periodic table is important in biology and chemistry, um, but there are a few elements in biology that we're interested in more than uh, the other ones. So I want to take a quick uh, second 
to go over some really important elements that you will see quite a bit um, over the next few weeks. And four of them are already highlighted up here. That's carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. And if you notice, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen are all located over here on the right side of the periodic table. We are gonna add two more to this list. This is the important list for bio. And we're gonna add two more elements and those are going to be phosphorus and sulfur. So we will put phosphorus over here, atomic number 15. Let's see if I can cram this all in. And sulfur is the other one. Got an atomic number of 16, and we represent like that. So you'll notice, and this is my favorite way to remember these, almost everything that we are interested in in biology is made up of six elements, and those elements are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. And if you put all of those together, the only reason they're organized like this because I like to remember them and so I pronounce it chomps and that's that's just the easiest way to remember it. it's gonna have to be something that you will memorize so these are all located over here right in the same area and why we'll talk about it a little bit later and then there of course there's hydrogen over here and the rest of these are important too sodium calcium potassium you all know those as different vitamins and minerals that you have to get in your diet every day in order to stay healthy uh, copper zinc iron of course is really important but from a biochemical perspective we're going to focus mostly on these guys because it is these guys that really make up the bulk of what we're going to be talking about in biology for the next few weeks These are some important terms that you need to know. Um, element, proton, neutron, and electron. So these are really, imp whoops, there we go. Um, these are uh, terms that you'll need to know the definition for. You should know what I'm talking about when I refer to them. Uh, elements, of course, um, are all of the elements on the periodic table. If we go back, all of these are elements. Um, we are interested in, if you will remember really quickly, um, in carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Um, this makes up almost all life on Earth, uh, so you'll need to know those as well. And uh, protons, neutrons, and electrons, of course, you'll remember, these are all parts of what make up an atom. So, an element is a type of atom protons, neutrons, and electrons make up atoms. Um, you'll need to know those for your quiz. And I said this was gonna be a pretty easy day. I think that, you know, that is actually it for now. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to rewind the video, uh, watch it again, or write down those questions and come see me in class tomorrow. Uh, have a good, very good night, and I will see you very soon.